This video provides a deep dive walkthrough of the assessment settings in Lumen Ohm. If you're modifying an existing assessment, you may only need to make minor adjustments like the due date. Alternatively, if you're creating a new assessment, it's helpful to understand all the different settings available to you so you can put together precisely the right learning activity for your students. To modify an existing assessment's settings, select the gear icon, then click on Settings. Here you can adjust the assessment name, summary, instructions, and availability options for when students should have access to the assessment. The Show options allow you to either keep an assessment hidden or make it visible to students during the timing you specify. The Keep Open as Review option allows students to continue using the assessment as practice after the due date without changing the grade they received. Next are the Assessment options. This area allows you to define how your assessments work. There's a lot of detail here, but once you establish a set of options that fit your needs, you can use the Copy Options From feature to reuse settings from other assessments. This is a great way to ensure you're carrying over consistent settings in each type of assessment you use – homework assignments, quizzes, optional practice activities, and so forth. Let's walk through the assessment options in detail. Within the core options, Require Password will require students to enter a password to gain access to an assessment. Proctored exams are the most common scenario where this feature is useful. Time Limit and Kick Student Out at Time Limit are also useful settings for exams. Note that for students with extended time accommodation requirements, these exceptions may be modified for individual students by accessing the student in the Ohm roster and modifying their Time Limit Multiplier setting. Display Method provides several options for how questions are displayed to students. We'll highlight the most commonly used options. Skip Around is the most widely used display. It displays one question per page and allows students to submit parts of questions in any order they like. The Embedded Display removes question numbering and displays all questions on one page. Students can submit responses in any order, including partial responses. The Video Queue Display allows you to embed a YouTube video directly into the assignment and queue Ohm questions to pop up. You can specify the timestamps when each question will appear. This invites students to practice as they're viewing video instruction. After choosing the display method, you can set the default points per problem. You can always adjust the point value for an individual question in the Editing Questions screen. We walk through how to do that in the video about finding, adding, and editing assessment questions. You use the default attempts per problem setting to define the number of attempts you allow a student for each problem. Use the default penalty setting, if desired, to specify a percent penalty depending on how many times a student reattempts a problem. The feedback method setting determines what type of feedback students receive as they work through the assessment. To clarify how these settings display to students, we will show the student view for each option. Just Show Final Score shows the student their total points when they complete the assessment. If reattempts are allowed with this option, students must retake the entire test and Ohm saves scores only from the final attempt. This works really well for untimed assessments. However, for timed assessments, this setting does not reset the clock for the reattempt. Therefore, if you want to offer a second attempt for an entire timed assessment, you'll need to create a second copy of that assessment. The Show Score on Each at End setting shows the student both their total score and points earned for each question at the end of the assessment. Here again, if reattempts are allowed, students must retake the entire test and Ohm saves scores only from the final attempt. For timed assessments, the clock does not reset with reattempts. The reshow options are similar to these, except in the summary, the full question text is displayed. The Show as Submitted setting shows students their score as they submit each question. If allowed, students are offered a chance to reattempt the problem. The Homework setting is similar, but when students run out of attempts on a particular question, 
they may try the same question again with new random values. This will reset attempts for that question. The practice test setting allows the test to be regenerated with new random values at any time. Students are given an option to try similar problems regardless of how many attempts remain. Scores are cleared each time the test is regenerated and scores are not shown by default in the gradebook. The Show Answers settings define if and when your students see answers to assessment questions. Note the Show Answer setting is related to the feedback method you've specified. If you set the feedback method to homework or practice test, be sure that your show answer setting either matches the number of attempts allowed per problem or else does not show at all. For other feedback method options, you can set the show answers settings to never, after the assessment due date, after the last attempt, or immediately. Students may view answers through the gradebook. Be careful not to use the immediately option if you are allowing multiple attempts per problem, because doing so would allow a student to complete the test, view the answers, and then submit the correct answers they just viewed. The Show Hints When Available setting defines whether to show hints for questions coded with hints. Some instructors might want to turn off hints for a quiz or test, but leave hints on for practice or homework assessments. The Allow Use of Late Passes setting designates if a late pass can be used towards that particular assessment. Late passes are a favorite feature for many instructors and students. For assignments where late passes are allowed, students may submit a late pass before the due date to get an extension without further teacher action. The default is a 24-hour extension, but instructors can adjust the setting. As long as the assignment is still open for the student, they may apply additional late passes if allowed. If the Allow Late Passes After Due Date Within One Late Pass Period option is selected, the students will be able to apply a late pass within one late pass period and access the assignment. If this option is not selected, students cannot apply a late pass after the due date.